Hello everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the weekly report, your look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. The city mourns the loss of two Kansas City, Missouri firefighters who were fatally injured during a second alarm fire on the evening of October 12th. The deceased firefighters are Larry Leggio, a 17-year veteran, and John Mesh, a 13-year veteran. Flags have been placed at half-staff this week in honor of the service and sacrifice of these firefighters. The City Council also honored the firefighters with a moment of silence during Thursday's legislative session, and many residents have shown their support via messages on social media. The City's fall curbside leave and brush pickup begins the week of October 26th for residents in the North Zone. Pickup for residents in the South Zone starts November 2nd, and the Central Zone will begin the week of November 16th. Residents may leave up to 20 bags or bundles of leaves and brush on their curb on their regularly designated trash pickup day. For more information about the Leaf and Brush pickup schedule, visit kcmo.gov and search for Leaf and Brush. The city received a $20 million grant this week from the state of Missouri to open a new mental health services center. The center will help people with mental health or substance abuse problems who have previously ended up in the municipal court system, and ultimately it will save taxpayers dollars. Lack of access to mental health services affects more than individual families. It impacts our law enforcement and the courts as they struggle to find better options than sending someone in need to jail or to prison simply because there's no place else to go. That is what this new assessment and triage center is all about. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities, bringing you news of upcoming shows and events. On October 22nd, the Celtic Women 10th Anniversary Tour comes to the Kansas City Music Hall. The multi-platinum selling all-female group performs such traditional Irish classics as Danny Boy alongside contemporary favorites like You Raise Me Up and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Don't miss these inspiring performances from the Emerald Isles in this unforgettable live concert celebration. For additional information, go to CelticWomen.com. The annual Holiday Mart, a Kansas City holiday tradition, returns to Bartle Hall October 22nd through 25th. This upscale shopping extravaganza has been a fall tradition for 28 years and is an extra special destination event. With nearly 200 specialty retailers and over 20,000 shoppers, the proceeds from the Holiday Mart support community projects sponsored by the Junior League of Kansas City, Missouri. Tickets are on sale now and may be purchased at HolidayMartKC.com as well as at the door. On October 25th, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network will host Purple Light Kansas City at Barney Alice Plaza to celebrate survivors and honored loved ones lost to pancreatic cancer. This event is free and open to the public. Registration begins at 6 p.m. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes presents America's coach Tony Dungy on November 2nd for an exciting night at Municipal Auditorium that will inspire coaches in their calling to coach, athletes in their desire to excel, and the community to fight for the good of others. For more information, go to fca.org. These are just a few of the many events the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities offers our community. To learn about even more events, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Everyone is excited about the Royals being in the playoffs. Hi everyone, I'm Channel 2's Chris Hernandez. We're outside City Hall where there is a lot of fun happening right now. It is a rally, it is a race, and it's a chance for you to show your Kansas City spirit. The rally out front is to benefit the Combined Charities Campaign. We're selling t-shirts and hot dogs, and it's all a lot of fun. Is that Evie? Evie? That would be Eric Bosch. Eric Bosch, where's Eric, Eric Bosch? In addition, there's a race right out in the middle of the street. Yep, that's right. It is ketchup, mustard, and relish facing off just like they do at the stadium. 
So there you have it. Ketchup took it all. That was Eric Bosch, the city architect, who also happens to be a pretty fast runner. A lot of royal spirit going on here at City Hall, and we'll keep it going throughout the entire postseason. I'm Chris Hernandez for Channel 2. Drug Court Garden started uh, three years ago. This will be our third year of having the garden. I was really stunned about it because I never did been in a garden before in my life and uh, I really didn't think it would grow. As I got to doing it and seeing, seeing things, it started growing and progressed a whole lot. Something about working in the dirt, uh, you know, also is just a very therapeutic to people, especially treatment courts, you know, themselves are designed by nature to, and they are proven nationally to be the most effective judicial intervention that we can do. It helped me to get my life together and think clearly as you, while you're doing the work, you start thinking clearly and thinking about things and ways to make your life better. You have to put it in your mind that you want to get your life right and you through doing what you're doing. If not, then it's not going to work. Underneath it are all, our real goal is to help them succeed and change their life and become productive members of our community. Seeing those plants and vegetables and stuff grow, that I can grow also. It's helped me to grow. If I can see that growing and, and getting big and stuff, it's teaching me that I can do the same thing. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. October in the city is filled with activities. Here's a sampling of fun things to do. The public is invited to view a gallery of juried paintings from the Brush Creek Art Walk at the Anita B. Gorman Discovery Center at 4750 Troost Avenue. The display is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. through the month of October, and most of the artwork is for sale. For more information or to view the paintings online, visit caseyparks.org. For a limited time, you can save $150 on an all-access pass to Casey Parks Community Centers. All-access passes are good at all 10 Kansas City Parks and Recreation Community Centers and include fitness centers, open gym, public ice skating, open swim, and select classes. From now through October 17th, annual adult passes are $200 and annual senior passes are $100. Visit a community center or purchase online at kcparks.org today. KC Parks celebrates Locktober on the Old Red Bridge on Saturday, October 17th. The fun starts at 11 a.m. with a ribbon cutting for the new Minor Park Connector Trail bike, walk, or skate down the one mile length of trail with friends and family, and then head over to the Old Red Bridge for complimentary refreshments and fun fall crafts. Of course, don't forget to bring your love locks to add to the ever-growing collection on the bridge. For details, visit caseyparks.org. On October 31st from 2 to 4 p.m., visit the Lime Creek Community Center for Spooky Skate, a Halloween party on ice. Wear your costume and get free admission. Skate rental is $2. Enjoy spooky treats and activities, including carnival games, a photo booth, and more. For more information about these and other events, visit the Parks and Recreation website at kcparks.org or give us a call at 816-513-7500. A new veterinary care center opened this week at the KCMO Animal Shelter managed by KC Pet Project. It's really great because we've got this great partnership, Kansas City Animal Control and the Kansas City Pet Project. You know, we're out in the field and we're picking up these sick and injured animals and it's great to have a, a place, especially a brand new facility like this, uh, to be able to bring them to and know they're going to receive, you know, top level care. And we don't have to worry about them once they're dropped off. Three, two, one. Pet. Yay! <laughs> 
In recognition of Customer Service Week, the city manager took some time to help answer a few of the 10,000 calls per week that the city receives in its 311 call center. Hello, welcome to the 311 call center. This is Troy. How can I help you today? Where are they parked? Are they parked on the street or are they parked in the in the property? So the both of them have been there for a couple of months. Then. Okay. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll um, we'll take this information down, get you a case number, and then we're going to call PD, who handles all of those abandoned cars. And what they'll do is they'll require like a they'll watch it, they'll mark it, and if they're not moved in 48 hours, they'll tow it. So, but I appreciate you calling me in because we'll get this thing going. I'll tell you what. I'll know, you want to know who you're talking to? You're talking to the city. You're talking to the city manager himself. Thanks for calling us. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Go Royals. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye bye. The 311 call center also had daily events to recognize their staff. To view this program again or other Channel 2 videos, go to kcmo.gov and search Channel 2. That page has a link to our YouTube channel and a Channel 2 program guide. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.